you you mentioned Six Flags. Um, you did like a weekly solo show there during the summer of two thousand and fourteen. Um, that that is incredible. Um, talk about that experience of you know doing um six flags there what what was that experience like for you i was up there man i was that was, that was amazing like they give every time i'd uh i'd do a show like every week they give me 20 tickets to give like to my friends i was the most popular kid at school for a little while uh that didn't last but <laughs> but i mean it did it, it really opened the door for like so much other stuff because i really got a taste for what it was like to be on stage that much and it helped me grow as an artist especially being able to do it that young you know yeah, so like any time when somebody or a company gives a young artist like that that an opportunity, you definitely got to seize the moment. And uh, you did that at a very, very young age. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, you go to Six Flags, you know, all the roller coasters. It's kind of like being a kid, man. Kind of like that. You become a kid for a day at least and you know and then you oh, yeah. you know you hear some music in the background while you enjoying that experience that's that's got to make it special it makes it extra special um mm -hmm. so in addition to the six flags you have you have quite the trophy case um awards mm -hmm. on your on your case there um you've been winning awards, you know, for the country, uh, for Georgia Country Overall Artist of the Year. Um, and you have, you know, in 2018, you won four awards. Um, you won, mm -hmm. let's see, uh, Best Overall at Best Life at Best Country at Best Vocalist. And then you won um, the Team Artist Award, Team Artist of the Year. For the uh, Georgia Country Awards in 2018, and then last year you won the Overall Artist of the Year at the Georgia Country Awards, and you was a finalist for the International Single Songwriter Association Young Adult Artist of the Year. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> right. uh, I so, really, uh, I was, I was talking like before I got on here. I was like, okay, I got to make sure I. I remember what awards I've won. I have the, like, the awards I've won written on my hand, and you're over here just reading them off. I need to hire you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm actually I'm up for a, a Josie Award right now. I, I'm super excited to be a part of that. I've always looked up to the Josie Award. Like, it's one of the biggest indie festivals for like, bluegrass and old country like I yeah. do. And so like to actually get nominated is just such an honor. Yeah, that's definitely an honor indeed. And um, the Halsey Awards always – put in forefront to local and to independent artists and unsigned artists. So that's that's a high accolade as well. So congrats on that nomination. Um so let's let's talk about your music in general. Um now you got some music out already and I got a a, a song from Jill. Shout out to uh, to Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Um, I got a song. I think it's called "Broken." Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's the song I got. "Broken." Um, that's your um, your new song. Um, let's talk about that song. Um, what was it like recording it, man? What's it all about? What's the, the story behind this song? So this song actually has a kind of a fun story. Um, first of all. All like all y'all guys who are getting to play this song like on like radio stations things like that. This song isn't even on my Spotify yet. Like y'all are getting a song that's unreleased. <laughs> so uh, this is just for this is just for radio audiences right now. Um, so this song, I basically I sat down and I uh, I just I wanted to see if I could sit down and just write like a really good like old like old style blues songs. I love those old school really slow those those uh those slow grass songs where it's you know it's got that bluegrass feel but it's still a very bluesy song it tells a really good story and i love storytelling songs so i sat down and i just i pulled out the guitar and i found a, a lick that i really liked and i was sitting on the front porch of my house with friends 
and uh and I just started playing this little lick over and over again and before I knew it I just started basically just kind of singing what came to my mind and I literally sang the entire first verse of that song just out of nowhere like usually you know I have to write things down and think about it but that song literally just I hate to I hate to sound like pretentious but it literally just like flowed out of me that song just came out of nowhere i have no idea where it came from it's not even like the other kind of stuff i write it just came out of nowhere um and recording it this this is the only song i have where i didn't go to recording studio um you're about to play this song i recorded this in my closet uh with a microphone and then i just compressed it and i did a little work to it and then sent it off well, that's awesome that um, that this song hasn't ever been released on the platforms yet. And, um, you know, people like myself getting to play it. I played the song a little bit earlier uh, on a previous hour. And uh, you, you definitely have a gift, man. You have a gift um, for singing and, and just being talented at a young age and, you know, with everything you've done up to this point, you have a very bright future um, moving forward. Many, many years to come um, for this young man right here. So um, do you have a timetable as to when Broken will be available to all the platforms? Oh, it'll definitely be, it'll be available within the month. Um, I don't have an exact date yet. I still have to, I still have to take a, a picture for an album cover for the single. But beyond that, once that's all over and done with, and I stop procrastinating, we'll get it on. I'll get it on the uh, the streaming things. But I do have I do have a single on Spotify that was about the uh, about 2020 and the pandemic. If people really like what I do, they can go listen to that one. But the other one should be cut, dropping real soon. All right, so be on the lookout for Broken by Hunter, and um, go go support this young man. Man, he's very very talented. Got a bright future in this business for sure. So, who are some of your musical influences? Who inspire you as an artist? It could be mainstream, it could be fellow local artists. Who inspire you as an artist? So, when I was a kid, um, I was it was really weird because my uh, I came from like two different breeds basically. Because my mom, she uh, she came from the north. She came from you know Indiana up there. Uh, and she listened to a lot of like '80s hair bands and like old like '70s rock and most of the stuff that was at Woodstock, like '60s, '70s, '80s, all that kind of stuff, like that folk rock style. And um, so like I get in the car with my mom, we listen to like a bunch of like Jimi Hendrix and like the Eagles and things like that. And then I'd get in the car with like my brother or with my friends, and we listen to like old like Waylon Jennings and Hank Williams Jr. and Sr. and all that old school stuff. And, and uh, and yeah, and then my dad would listen to, like, Easy e and N.W.A. So <laughs> I grew up, like, my playlist, like, when I listen to in my car, looks like a bomb went off at Spotify headquarters. Um, and then, so I started, when I started singing, I sang a lot of like pop. I sang a lot of Michael Jackson and Bruno Mars and things like that. But then my voice changed and I was like, man, I finally have a country voice. I can finally go into country music, which is what I always wanted to do. And then when I started getting into country, um, my biggest influence is a, uh, is a local act around here uh, named Greg Irwin. And he just, like, I, I met this guy and he's, he's, you know, he's been on the scene for a little while and he just, he took me in at like, 15 or 16 years old and taught me everything I know and like gave me a nickname and like gave me a guitar and just the nicest dude in the world like every like outlaw country personified like he will give you the shirt off his back but if you're in a bar and you look at him the wrong way like you're getting thrown out a window probably <laughs> but uh nicest dude and like I really I, I model most of what I do after him man yes you got you got a real one in there, so um, he he he'll be cool with you the one minute, and then he'll fight somebody in the bar somewhere. So <laughs> yeah, that's 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 it. um awesome, man. Definitely important as an art, you know, young age, get some support, not just from fans, but for fellow artists. Um, so it's pretty cool that you got someone that um that you you know 
that you do meet, you know, that you do shows with and network with and, you know, just, you know, just performing in general. So it's good to get, you know, get that support for fellow artists as well. So yeah. you, got, you got the broken song on the way. You got, you know, you being a very busy young man, um, what's some shows that you have coming up that um, your fans need to keep an eye on? Um, man, I'm just, I'm all over the place. I, uh, I'm actually this, this next like month or so, I, my shows are a little bit, uh, a little bit tighter because we had an acting gig come up and hold me for like three weeks, but you know, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm at a lot of, uh, I'm at a lot, a lot of wineries up in North Georgia, like a uh, bear claw vineyards. Love that place. If anybody, you know, drinks a lot, to drink a lot of wine and get a little rowdy, you know, coming up there. I've, uh, I've started doing some more South Georgia shows too, uh, down you know down by Jekyll Island, things like that, like places like Tabrizio's Grill or Fish Dock over in uh Saint and uh, Townsend. And uh, that's the thing. I just if you, like if people want to find out, like see what I do, just you know go to my Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and I post the sh- try to post the shows daily. I'm always forgetting them though. Like people got to message me like day of and say, hey, you're supposed to be in South Georgia today. Like I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, you know, for more info on Hunter, you can check out his um website at www.thehunterflanagan.com. Um, and he's got the music, it's got the bio, it's got videos. And um, I'm looking through you, your calendar right now. You're going to be in Georgia, um, you're going to be in more Georgia shows, yeah. And yeah, you, 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 Georgia through and through. Um, you, you'll be doing some shows outside of Georgia, obviously. So he's he's literally going to be in the southern Georgia area. Uh, so go check him out. Go check out thehunterflanagan.com. And uh, he'll, he'll be coming to a bar near you, a winery near you. He'll be in a venue as well. So go support this man. Uh, so you are a part of of Nashville Entertainment Weekly. And I've had the pleasure and privilege to network with Jill and TJ literally since this pandemic started. Um, I didn't know if I was going to still do radio shows. I thought maybe I should take some time off. But because of Jill, I got people to interview. And I literally interview everyone and anyone that she's had representing her. Um, one thing about Jill and TJ is that when they when they have you on Nashville Entertainment Weekly, they are going to promote the heck out of you. Uh, like every time oh, yeah. I be on Facebook, I see Nashville Entertainment Weekly, whether it's promoting a song, promoting an upcoming show or upcoming interview. They are literally all over my timeline, my Facebook timeline. And that's a good thing because you got people that that's investing you, that's supporting you, that's putting you out there. What's it been like on um, being part of Nashville um, Entertainment Weekly? What's it like having um, Jill and TJ supporting you the way that they have? I mean, I'm always grateful, just like to get because honestly, for the longest time, you know, it's a uh, mostly. Uh, Georgia country and my mom and people like that posting on my uh, on my feeds and trying to keep get me out there. So it's so nice having somebody else take take a lot of the reins on that man. Like and like you said, networking is so so darn important. It's just uh, like now like I'm up in you know Nashville uh, like once a week or so and just having that networking, getting out there, getting especially like them being up in Nashville and sharing a lot in Nashville is like it's helped people come to my show. Like I had someone a fan come to my show a few weeks ago that I had never met who not only came to my show but had saw that I was gonna be there through them and came with like a copy of one of my movies that they went and bought at Walmart for me to sign. And like it, it made me feel like I was actually, you know, somebody. <laughs> not <laughs> just a child with a guitar. So check out Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Um, if you're an artist, if you need that push, that that promotion, they got you covered. Um, Jill and TJ, go check them out. 
They got all types of country artists and rock artists and pop artists. Um, they they got versatility towards Nashville Entertainment Weekly. So go check them out and go check out the Hunter Flanagan. Com. Be on the lookout for the, the new song, Broken, that's coming out on the platforms next month. Great chatting with you, Hunter. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're calling in on a very special show today because this is the 14th year anniversary show. Um, so thank you so much for being on this milestone. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, I saw that it was the, that it was the anniversary today. Yeah, so thank yeah. you, man. And congrats on everything up to this point. And I look forward to um, having everybody else here broken because this, this is an awesome song. I look forward to seeing everybody else giving it a listen. All right. Congrats to you too, man. I uh, hope to see many more years of this show. Absolutely, man. You take care. You be safe and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. All right. You too. You be safe out there.